What if I told you that everyone, no matter what vision problems they had, could see colors? That's right. In my product design master thesis research, I developed a color code for visual impaired people called Philippa. Why? Because since I was little that I have been dealing with visual impairments. My aunt, who raised me, was blind from an eye and was losing sight of the other over time. Even so, it is amazing how these people have a completely different sensibility than the so-called narrow people. To understand this world a little bit better, I have been with blind children, ages between 8 and 10, for three months in their school, living with them day after day, during study, play and so on. They were the ones who made possible the project that I now present to you. I created a code where colors and geometric shapes are associated. Why geometric shapes? Because they are in our life since we were born, with shape-fitting names, for example, and because they are equally recognized all over the world. So, I associated the primary colors red, yellow and blue to the basic geometric shapes, square, triangle and circle. Once in relief, they can be understood technically correctly. For the secondary colors, I follow the existing logic in color mixing. That is, if you mix two primary colors, we create another color. So, by mixing two geometric shapes, we get another shape. Let's see. If you mix red and yellow, we make orange. Therefore, by joining the square and triangle together, we get this shape that represents orange. The same thing happens with the other secondary colors. When you mix blue and yellow, we make green. Therefore, circle with a triangle make this shape. Blue and red make purple, so square with a circle make this shape. As for brown, this is possible through two secondary shapes or colors, purple and orange. As you know, black and white are special colors, so I decided that they wouldn't have a geometric shape, instead lines with enough thickness to be recognized by touch. So, black is made with three lines, grey with two and white with one. And with this we have the main colors of the visible spectrum. However, I was not totally satisfied, so I create the tints and the shades of the colors that I just presented. How? What happens when we mix white with another color? It becomes brighter, and if you add black, it becomes darker. So, as you can see, by putting white, the line, in the exterior of the geometric shape, in this case, the red square, we have a lighter tint of red, or pink. And as you can see, independently of the figure orientation, as white is always exterior, the color is always red correctly. The same thing happens with the shades, now introducing black inside the geometric shape. In this case, it is allowed to correctly recognize the darker shade of red. And with this, we have the complete chromatic palette. As you can see, the code is very easy to use, memorize and recognize, because it's simple and capable of being recognized anywhere in the world, if you speak English, Portuguese, Chinese or any other language. It is universal. I can imagine an endless number of possible applications, such as toys, clothing labels, toppers for pencils and pens, and so on. These applications are capable of improving the lives of so many people on a daily basis. People that suffer from blindness, color blindness, cataracts, low vision, among, the, among others. I sincerely believe it can work, and above all that, it can improve our world a little bit. So, let's spread color, because color is for everyone.